talking about experiences that we go through in life that can empower or disempower us. And I've been reflecting on how the experiences that I put myself through have led to a kind of a disempowerment of my being. I remember when I was extremely enthusiastic, uh, inspired and on purpose in terms of my career and my vocation. And as a result of you know, my own shadow, as well as interfacing with the shadows of other people, um, I've gone through uh, an experience of, of loss and, um, and being sidelined, uh, put into, in a sense, the penalty box. And, it, and you sit long enough in that penalty box and you begin to question why you're here, what you're doing, and there's a kind of an apathy that grows. And I think a lot of people are in that place. They give up. They give up on life. They give up on their dreams. They give up on their vision because it's not received. It's not understood. And there's no real sense of compassion for, for the person who's going through the process of awakening. One of the things that, of course, happens in order to awaken, we have to come to terms with all aspects of ourself. We have to come to terms with our shadows, both personal and collective. And there are forces inside of us that we can't even comprehend, that we're, that we're mediating and trying to somehow integrate in a way that creates light as opposed to further darkness. In spiritual organizations, this work is looked at with a great deal of, of uh, fear and trepidation because spiritual organizations for the most part are not equipped or have the skill to be able to address the process of integrating the shadow. It's in the world of the shamanic, it's in the world of, of the therapeutic and, uh, and uh, transpersonal. Uh, psych psychological fields and certainly the church, the world that I come from is for the most part foreign or oblivious or uh, ignoring of these uh, fields of, of inquiry and work. So uh, what I've been doing is basically integrating my experience of being in the church for most of my adult life um, working as a, as a priest in the church and working on my own shadow and working on the shadow of the collective, the, certainly the, the, the shadow side of, of, of the church, the institutional church. It kind of reminds me of this little clip or this little quote that came from the Aboriginal Indigenous culture around the issue of residential schools. When one of the elders that was at a gathering said when the missionaries came over to Canada and um, they began talking about um, what it was that they were doing, they, she said, the church, the missionaries, promised us Jesus, but what we got was the church. That says it in a nutshell.